Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome to Letting Your Light Shine. Thank you so much for joining me. What I wanted to ask you today is why are you allowing the narcissist to instill fear in you if you're trying to exit the relationship? Well, I can speak from experience and I can resonate with you guys that I know exactly what you're going through. Okay. So you're in a relationship with a narcissist. Things are awful. As we all know, they're terrible. Um, and you're like, you know what? I've got a game plan. I got to get the hell out of here. I got to, I got to get my stuff together. I've got to make a plan to exit and move on, start my life over, dump this person because I can't handle the toxicity. I can't handle the, um, ongoing negativity that is in this relationship. I've got to get out. Right. Okay. So then what you do, you tell the narcissist, you know what? I'm unhappy. I'm miserable. I've got to get out. I need to focus on my life. I need to get better. Um, I need to start anew. Oh my gosh, that is the end of the world for a narcissist because you know what the narcissist is going to do? The narcissist is going to say to you, oh no, 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 you, you are not going anywhere, okay? Well, who has control over anybody, right? The narcissist thinks they have control, but they really don't. That person is gonna say to you, okay, if you leave, I'm going to take every dime out of the bank account. You're going to lose the kids. You're going to lose the house. You're not going to have a job. You're going to be on the street homeless. You're going to this, you're going to that. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you the amount of stories that I heard in my own relationship a couple years ago. And some of the ones that I still hear from, you know, some of my clients now. So when a narcissist is instilling fear in you, please, please understand that it has nothing to do with you. The narcissist is so terrified for you to leave because then they're losing their supply. They're freaking out. They're like, oh my God, if, if, if he or she leaves this relationship, what am I going to do? Who am I going to bully? Who am I going to pick on? Who am I going to name call to? Who am I going to do anything negative to, right? But what happens is the narcissist is so good at getting into our heads that they will say whatever they have to do and have, or I'm sorry, say whatever they have to say in order to instill that fear, okay? Don't give the narcissist the power to instill that fear in you, okay? So what I tell my clients is put yourself in the perspective of this is party A, you, this is party B, the narcissist, okay? As an outsider, so take a step back and look at the relationship as a third party, a friend, you know, a, a colleague or whomever. Because if your sister or brother or friend or whomever was in this relationship and you were the one looking in on their relationship, you would be able to see all the damage and all the, all the manipulation and all that, right? So when they try to instill fear, it's hard not to start believing that. I know I was there. I was there. Okay. Um, I'm no longer there two years almost. I'm so excited. And you have got to understand that it is not you. The, the thing with the narcissist is they are so immature and they are so, so down on their self-worth and self-esteem that in order for them to feel powerful, they have to make others feel terrible. Well, okay. That's how they get through life because they feel like if they're some, you know, head honcho and they're some big dude or big lady that just wants to, you know, manipulate people and it makes them feel powerful, let them, let them, you know, deep down inside, you are not that person that they're saying you are. You're not going to lose your home. You're not going to lose your children, but you know what? the first thing they're going to do is try to scare the living crap out of you so that you don't leave. All right. So one thing I always tell my clients, oh my gosh, please, please, please. Whatever a narcissist says to you is goes in one ear, out the other ear, and you just really give it no weight. Just let, let the, let the saying or let the statement just kind of go right through you like some wind. Okay. Think of wind. Um, don't allow a person to try to put you down to the point where you are so terrified for your own life that you're going to have nothing. One thing that I realized is when I finally got out and I finally walked away, you guys, it was like this shade lifted. It was like the sun got brighter. It was like the, the sky turned even more blue than it is. And 
it, it, the clouds just disappeared, the black clouds that surround you in a narcissistic relationship because you cannot see clearly and you cannot feel clearly when you're with somebody who is constantly demeaning you, okay? But when you get to the other side, and I mean exiting and finally getting that step of freedom, you're gonna know that everything that they said to you was just complete manipulation and an attempt to control you, your feelings, your heart, your soul, everything. Don't give them the power to do that, okay? Um, when you finally get free, you're gonna see so much, such a bigger picture than you were able to see. And the way I like to do it is, you know, you, you see this way, okay? When you're in a narcissistic relationship, this is how you see through a small little window because you just don't know what, what to think anymore because they've screwed up your head so bad, right? But when you get out, you see this huge box of opportunity and you go, wow, everything they said was just a complete lie, total lie. Um, in my case, the narcissist threatened everything under the sun. And you know what? I guarantee now that if I ran into the narcissist, he would not have the balls to come up to me and say one word to me. He wouldn't have the balls because narcissists are all talk and no action. They want you to believe that they are going to do all of these things to you. And granted, there are a few people that, that, that stoop really low and try to destroy, okay? But you know what? You are protected. You are energetically protected from all of this crap and shield yourself from their negativity. Do whatever you have to do. Imagine a bubble around you that no negativity can get into this little bubble of your happiness, right? But why do they instill fear in us? Because they are so insecure and they don't know how to live a life on their own. They don't know how to live a life without bullying somebody, okay? If you wanna get out of a relationship with a narcissist, let me tell you something. Do it, just do it. No matter what they say, no matter what they threaten you with, they're not gonna follow through. If you continue to stand your ground and rise your head a little bit higher every day, they're gonna see how strong you are, which only brings more weakness in them because then they're gonna realize, you know what? They're actually the weak ones. And so weak people don't know how to stand up to strong people. But when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, all they know how to do is push, push, push. That is why everything that we have starts to diminish when we're involved with a narcissist, okay? The moment you get away from it and you start, be, you start to see the light, you start to um, see how beautiful things are and how peaceful, I mean, my gosh, peaceful. That is the number one thing that I, I, I have not experienced in six, well, hadn't experienced in the six years I was with the narcissist and going on two years now, Oh my God, I have never experienced so much peace in my life. Never. Um, you will never ever be anything that they want you to be. They will continue to demean you so bad that you don't even know which way is up, okay? So when this person is telling you that you are unworthy and you're ugly and you're fat and you're skinny and you're, you're this and you don't know how to do this or that or whatever the case may be. I mean, I, I've heard it all. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous, the crap I heard. But now I look back and all I can do is just chuckle because I'm thinking, you know, you might have thought you had a hold on me, but you know what? Now you're going to watch me succeed, okay? Because the moment that I got out of that relationship is the moment my life changed and I have succeeded every single day since that time and you can too. The reason I want to express this to you guys is because one of the things that I get emails of constantly is, Janice, I don't know how to leave. I'm scared. I'm scared that she's going to do this. I'm scared that he's going to do this. When you live in fear, you're giving your power to the narcissist, okay? But when you're living in faith and within your own true core, you know, your, your, your dream of being happy, when you go down deep in your soul and you go, you know what? I don't care what it takes. I'm going to be happy. I understand life is hard. I understand the stressors of life. I understand that we have tough times, but I can promise you guys, seriously, with 100% certainty, my gosh, I can't even tell you, get away from that narcissist, okay? No matter what this person says to you, don't take it, don't take it for granted. Don't take it personal. 
don't listen to them because they're not in control of your life. You're in control of your own life. You have control. So if you want to wake up and pack up your stuff, get in your car and drive somewhere down the street or drive to a friend's or drive to another state to start over, do it. Okay. Don't worry about how you're going to live or how you're going to do this. Because when you start thinking of months down the road, you're going to stress yourself out that you're going to allow that fear to consume you. So what you've got to do is you've got to make a plan and you just got to go. And once you get out, it doesn't matter if you have plans on where you're going to go. Trust me, you're going to find the resources, the people. You're going to open so many doors for so many people to come into your life that are going to actually be, you know, um, the, the people that lift you up. All right. Imagine that people are taking you by your arms and they're just lifting you up. Right. And remember a little kid where your parents would lift you up like that. And just imagine that you don't even know these people. And you're going to find people around every corner that are like just helping you. And the next thing you know, you've got a place to stay. You've got a car to drive. You got money. You got food. You got everything. But if you allow the narcissist to contain or uh, retain the control that they're trying to have over you, you're giving your power away. Don't do that. Okay. It took me 20 times, 25 times to kick him out to realize that I finally <laughs> had enough. And I said, no more. And it has been the best nearly two years of my life. And I want you guys to understand you can get through this. Stop listening to their threats, their idle threats. They're, they're, they're trying to instill fear in you. You can do it. You are stronger than you think. All right. You got this. All right. Love and light to all of you. Be back soon.